Hey everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train and welcome to April's edition of Breakfast with Bacon where I share some of my favorite things from the past month. First of all, if you are new here, welcome and I'm sorry to disappoint you that there is no bacon in this video besides me. This is just a fun series that I do once a month or so just to kind of share the fun things that have been happening in my life, things I don't normally share on YouTube, things that appear on Instagram sometimes, but I just love to sit and chat with you guys and kind of keep up with everything. April has been a pretty good month for us with May being even better, but we'll talk about that later. I want to get into April 1st and just kind of talk about some of the fun things that have happened, some of my favorite things from this past month, and what I'm looking forward to in next month. I've got six things to share with you today of my favorite things. Number one, we had spring break towards the beginning of April for Allison. So we just took that whole week and did all sorts of fun things. One of which was going to one of her favorite parks. Now this park is like almost 30 minutes away but this this park is so worth it first of all it's got like this really huge slide that is built on a hill this is one of those metal slides okay that you can take a piece of wax paper and sit on it and then you just zoom down that hill so fast I wasn't able to get a video of it this time but one of the other things at this park that she absolutely loves and I do have a clip of this one it's like a little spinny chair so you sit in it and you just make yourself spin around and around and around and you don't stop and I don't know maybe it's because of her love of Kings Island with all those spinny rides that she loves this maybe she's just trying to get her Kings Island fix in early I don't know but she would always run to that thing and just spin and spin and then you know she gets out and she's not even dizzy she can run around no problem don't understand that child at all. But that was super fun. And my goal for this summertime is to try and take her to at least one new park every week, just to get an idea of what's around the area and see what she likes. Number two is all about ice cream. There's this ice cream shop that opened up a couple years ago, I think it was. And oh my gosh, this place is amazing. They have the soft serve ice cream. So you can have like your standard sundae. They have of uh, quite a few different flavors. They're standard chocolate and vanilla. They also have an orange creamsicle and they also have the blue ice cream. The blueberry flavored ice cream, the same kind that you can get at King's Island, just at like not quite high of a price. But they're also known for like their monster milkshakes. And these milkshakes are probably like a good 20, 20 ounces that tall. And then it's got you know the ice cream and stuff in it and then depending on the flavor they will have like a whole little Debbie snack cake on top and like a whole candy bar or something like it is indeed a monster shake they're like ten dollars have not tried one yet but it's on my to-do list but this particular time we just needed to go out and get some ice cream I'm all about balance as you know so we went out and I got like I think it was their medium which was like 16 ounces of ice cream it was for me it was chocolate ice cream with hot fudge and like a mountain of whipped cream and then Allison got but the orange cream sickle with a bunch of whipped cream. So it was a lot of fun. Number three. All right, so I told you all about this in one of my past live videos, but for those who missed it, so we've had this problem with smoke detectors for a while. It started a few years ago when like they would just start randomly going off in the middle of the night and we had no idea why like the batteries were just fine there is obviously no fire or anything so after a few months of this like randomly happening we took one of them down and opened it up and guys a spider a little tiny spider crawled out of that thing so now we knew what the problem was these spiders were getting in our smoke detectors and they were going up against the sensors now with the sensors they can't tell whether it's a spider or smoke so it detected there is something blocking the sensor and there it goes we eventually got it taken care of we have an exterminator now not a big deal well just the other morning i was sitting there in the office john had just left for work it was like 5 30 something in the morning all right and i hear like one beep coming from the living room I'm like, oh dear goodness, why? Uh, so, I mean, Allison was still sleeping at this point. And the thing about our ceiling, 
I'm gonna show you a picture here, but we have a sloped ceiling. So that means that this detector is way up high. So I'm, you know, at this point it's 5.30 in the morning, I'm freaking out. I grabbed a chair, tried to stand on it and reach up for this thing. I couldn't reach it. I texted John, I was freaking out. Like, listen, this thing's going off at like once a minute. It was beeping once per minute. I'm like, I can't get it down. And then Allison called for me and said, I hear a beeping out there. I'm like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And then John kindly reminded me that we have a ladder in the garage. So I ran out, grabbed the ladder, finally was able to stand up there and get it down. It was just the battery low. We do change our batteries. It just so happens that this, it just happened. So all the batteries are changed. We're all good now, but I felt like I didn't need any more coffee that day because I was wide awake. Number four, you all have already seen it. I've already talked about it a little bit. I donated my hair last week. And I gotta tell you, I am so happy with how it turned out. To be honest with you, I was hoping to get it a little bit shorter, especially around this area. So I might go back in a few weeks and get it cut shorter. I don't know, I wasn't thinking like a pixie cut, but I was just, you know, a little bit shorter. But I mean, obviously I can't get it into a ponytail, which is totally fine, but it's really good for like putting up you know, like headbands and stuff. It is no longer like, all in my way when I'm trying to sleep at night. My showers are like five minutes shorter because it's like, you know, a little bit and done. I am in love with it. I was able to donate my hair to Wigs for Kids and I'm kind of liking the short hair now. I usually grow it out every three or four years or so. I've been doing this for the past 15 years. Like every three or four years, I'll get tired of my long hair and chop it off, but then I grow it out again. But right now, I'm really digging the short hairstyle. So I might try to get it trimmed and keep it this short for a while just to see how I like it. And then number five is marathon training. I am currently in week four of my marathon training week four out of like 30 or 28 or something like that but I did a five mile run last week which is the most I've done in a very long time now I'm doing the Jeff Galloway method which is the run walk intervals so I run for one minute and I walk for 30 seconds throughout the entire run and I found that it's really helped especially because I had an injury when I was doing all my half marathon training back in 2018 but with this like it helps to prevent injuries. It helps you to increase your endurance. You can go on longer. I don't feel like it's cheating. I feel really good after my runs. So I'm gonna continue this and that's the method I'm gonna use during my marathon training as well. But so far, so good. I'm still gonna continue it. It's gonna be a little bit different when school lets out and I can't run in the mornings anymore, but we will find a way. And then number six, did you know that Dollar Tree has wall stickers? And they're like really awesome wall stickers. I don't remember when I first got some for Allison, but she fell in love with them. I think the first ones I got her were the Mario ones with Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, whatever. She put them on her wall. And then we went to Dollar Tree one day and she saw these butterfly wall stickers and she became obsessed. So it's like every time we go to Dollar Tree, she buys one of those packs of stickers. And if you look at her wall right now, she's got like six or seven packs of those stickers all over the wall as well as like other designs that she's found over the past few months as well. I don't know if she's gonna cover her entire wall in these, but every time we go to Dollar Tree, it's like, I want one of these and I guess I'll see what she comes up with next. All right, so let's talk about May. There are so many things that I am looking forward to next month, first of all. Kings Island opens up next month and oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how excited we are. The opening day for the pass holders is May 8th. So of course we're going on opening day to check things out. And then with that comes basically the end of the school year for Allison. So once that is over and done with, we'll be going to Kings Island once a week for the summer. And then of course there's Cedar Point and then we're gonna be taking another week long trip sometime in July. So that'll be fun as well. Well. And I thought about doing a video on Kings Island, whether it's just like the fun things you can do or the, the good things you can eat there. 
I don't know how many of you have ever been to Kings Island or want to go one day or want to see anything like that, but let me know. It's something I've been thinking about. So if there's enough interest, I'll do one. I'm also looking forward to my group coaching program next month. I launched it back in January and each month is a new theme with May being water intake because summertime is coming. And you know that with summer comes heat, which means you need to drink a lot of water. So my goal for these ladies is to get them up to drinking what they should be drinking and uh, do healthy habits that help them get there. I've got a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. The Busy Moms Healthy Meals Club is awesome for women who just who need help learning how to eat healthier, how to set up healthy habits, perhaps even lose weight if that's your goal. But I just love this tight knit group of women that I am with. And then we have two birthdays coming up in May. John's is May 4th, Star Wars Day, which he absolutely loves. And and then mine is on the 22nd. So we're going to be celebrating basically all month long. I always, always want to get Cheesecake Factory for my birthday. I only get the Cheesecake Factory cheesecake once per year, but when I do, I eat the entire slice of cheesecake and I don't share it with anybody. But that's it for this month's episode of Breakfast with Bacon. Why don't you leave me a comment and let me know what are your plans for May? Do you have any kind of plans? Is school letting out for your kids? That sort of thing. Let me know because I want to celebrate with you. And as always, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video and ring that bell down there and that way you're going to be notified when all sorts of my videos come out as well as my grocery hauls, recipes, and meal planning tips. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.